Hi there. It's time to begin step three, which is constructing the frame of the pipe marimba. This step is a little bit more complex than the others and also a little bit more dangerous, so make sure you're taking your safety precautions using your safety glasses and your earplugs. For this step, you'll need a large sheet of plywood, probably four two by fours, a jigsaw, some screws, a drill with both a large drill bit and a Phillips bit, a drawing compass, a tape measure, a pencil, and a circular saw. This is what we're going to be building over the course of the next two steps. I want you to notice how the holes are laid out. These holes are what we're going to end up sticking our pipes through. So just notice the layout of this, of this frame. That's sort of what our goal is going to be. Time out. I need everyone to go to the project website to find the set of blueprints that contains every measurement for this video. You'll need that as we proceed. Okay, in this first step, I am measuring for the line on the blueprints marked PL1. That stands for pipeline number one. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking on each end of my plywood a little hash mark so that I can tell where I'm going to do this. And then I use my 2x4 to line up and trace my line with. Hopefully your 2x4s are straight enough that that will work out. And I'm also going to make sure I double check each one of my marks. I want to make sure that on each end I'm about the same distance here. So I go to each end and make sure that mark is correct before I do any other steps. Our next step is to go ahead and make hash marks where the center point of each one of our pipes will fit. Or in other words, where we'll uh, mark the center for each one of the holes we're going to cut. On the blueprint, each one of these marks is marked with an H. H1 through 12 is the first row of pipes, and H13 through 20 marks the second row, or the sharps and flats, if you want to think of it that way. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and get out your drawing compass and measure this for the radius, not the diameter, but the radius. So whatever the diameter of your tube is, I'll let everyone measure their own pipes because there could be fluctuation. Take that and divide it by two, and that should be what you want to use. You place the point of the compass on the intersection between the hash mark and the PL1 that we just drew, and then trace your circle from there. Now all you have to do is repeat this process for the PL2 and the coinciding circles with that, which would be H13 through 20. And in the meantime, I'm also going to plot out the L line, which is the length of my pipe marimba frame. So I'm just going to kind of do it all in one swoop and do a speedy version of that so you can see what's up. And now we get to the fun and dangerous part. Make sure that you are wearing your safety glasses and ear protection at this point because it could be really harmful. Make sure, double check your W and L markings that you have marked because these are the two that you're going to be cutting for this step. Double check because there's no going back. And then once you've checked, you can go ahead and make your cuts, but be careful. I'm going to assume that you at least have some experience with a saw. If not, please ask somebody who does have experience. Also, I have my piece of plywood elevated at this point. Otherwise, you're going to run your saw blade into the ground. Um, there are also some minute adjustments that you might want to make to your saw to cut the specific depth of the wood that you have, so make sure you're taking care to do that kind of thing as well. Right now I'm sanding my newly cut piece of plywood with a pad sander. This step is completely optional, but it does leave nice smooth edges on your pipe marimba frame. Next you have to pre-drill holes for the jigsaw blade to get down into. Basically I just picked the largest drill bit that I had and drilled holes and reamed it out a little bit so that it, uh, the, the blade could fit down into those holes. And you can drill basically at any point within the circles that you drew um, and you will be able to cut the circle out from there. Okay, here I am cutting out the holes for the pipe marimba. These are the holes that our pipes will go down into, so that's pretty exciting. Um, basically you just stick the blade down in and start circling, circling outwards until you can cut the the hole tracing the line that you drew. And I want to take a second to introduce my good friend Nathan Hack, who just entered the frame. I've been working at Nathan's house for the past few days, so everyone say hello. And back to work. Okay, the idea right now is patience. 
really take your time when you're making these cuts stay accurate you don't want your boards to start chipping because you cut too close to a previous hole it also lends itself to safety both when you're using the jigsaw and the circular saw it would take just a split second to slip up and cut a finger off so I really want everyone to be really really careful right now and again if you know someone who is experienced with one of these tools ask them to help you there's no shame in asking for help ever and here is the finished plot for your pipe marimba frame this is what your frame should hopefully look like unless you decided to go a different route and uh, make a different style of pipe marimba but this is what mine turned out to be mm -hmm.